हमारे लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स पाने के लिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को दबाना बिल्कुल ना भूलें ताकि हमारे सभी नोटिफिकेशन आपको सबसे पहले मिले डीजी मेन टू एजुकेशन इज इंडिया बेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म टू प्रिपेयर फॉर गेट एन टी ए यू जी सी नेट एंड पी जी टी कम्प्यूटर साइंस ज्यादा जानकारी के लिए हमारी वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट डीजी मेन टू डॉट कॉम आरोप विजिट करें In this session, we are going to discuss about the syllabus for Gate Computer Science and the weightage of each and every subject in Gate Computer Science, and how can you follow the video lectures? How can you start your preparation? So, in your previous video, we had this introduction uh, part. We have covered the introduction part in the previous video. That is, what is Gate examination? Now, in this video, we are having the complete discussion regarding the syllabus and the weightage of each and every subject. so as you can see uh, in the syllabus we have two basic portions two important portions in the gate computer science syllabus the first portion is your general aptitude and reasoning and second one is your computer science topics so this general aptitude and reasoning this is approximately of 15 marks or you can say 15 it contains a 15% of the entire gate computer science paper and the rest of your technical section is of 85 marks so in this aptitude uh, part we have two portions one is verbal aptitude and second one is numerical aptitude so verbal aptitude contains grammar vocabulary coding decoding series directions blood relations arrangements syllogism inter inference and assumptions clock and puzzles and the same way for numerical ability we have fundamentals equations percentages averages ratio proportional mixtures allegations data interpretation data sufficiency time speed and distance time and work set theory and venn diagrams progressions functions and graphs logarithms permutations and combinations probability geometry and mensuration so this is general aptitude so generally the question paper the questions that you get in general aptitude is very easy so even without any kind of preparation if you directly go in the examination still out of 15 you are able to score 10 plus marks 10 से ज्यादा मार्क्स स्कोर करना जनरल एप्टीट्यूड में काफी इजी है बिकॉज दिस पोर्शन इज वेरी इजी इन द गेट एग्जामिनेशन देन यू हैव इंजीनियरिंग एंड डिस्क्रिट मैथमेटिक्स सो इन अदर ब्रांचेस लाइक यू हैव मैकेनिकल सिविल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इन दोज ब्रांचेस द मैथमेटिकल पोर्शन इज क्वाइट ह्यूज बिकॉज दे आस्क इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स आर देर इन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दोज ब्रांचेस but here in computer science we do not really have lot of topics in engineering mathematics only three topics are there which are linear algebra calculus and probability and rest of the topic here we are from we are having from discrete mathematics so this discrete mathematics is only in the computer science discipline this is not in other branches and again this discrete mathematics is core related to your computer science problems so lot of problems which we study in discrete mathematics lot of things that we are going to study in discrete mathematics for example graph theory it will be very very useful in other subjects in uh, algorithms you are going to study the applications of graph theory in algorithms when we have permutations and combinations here and these permutations and combinations are going to be very useful in each and every subject because there are some previous year gate questions which are based on permutations and combination and that particular subject so obviously this is the kind of portion that you will never leave because this is the most important portion again in this entire portion is approximately of 15 marks ye 15 marks ka portion hai it is a very huge weight so you can clearly see out of 100 marks you have 15 marks of aptitude 15 marks of mathematics so total this is 30 marks and rest 70 marks is your core technical area so in that 70 marks we have digital logic we have computer organization and architecture you have programming and data structures algorithms theory of computation in the same way we have compiler design operating system database management system and computer networks so what you can do is i you can pause this video to check out the complete syllabus or you can download the pdf of this presentation from this video so uh, we have embedded the pdf of this presentation in the comment section of this video now this is the marks distribution from last 3 years so we have analyzed the question paper from 2017 2018 as well as 2019 so this is 2017 set 2 this is 2017 set 1 this is 2018 and this is 2019 
so here you can clearly see that some of these subjects are extremely important for example here you have subject like aptitude and reasoning which is extremely important and both discrete mathematics and engineering mathematics they are also very very important so together discrete mathematics and engineering mathematics it comes for approximately 15 to 18 marks so here it is of 14 marks in uh, 2018 it was of 18 marks in 2017 it was of approximately 14 marks so this is also one of the portion that you should never leave a part of this some of these subjects are very important for example this operating system they are asking a lot of questions from operating system and theory of computation is very important and this computer networks is very important so some of these subjects are very very important or in other words you can say extremely important so to secure a good rank in gate exam when i'm saying good rank it means to get into top 1000 ranks to secure a good rank in gate exam you have to follow each of these subjects thoroughly you have to study each of these subjects thoroughly you cannot leave any subject in between aapko sabhi subject karne hain aap isme se koi bhi subject nahi chhod sakte why because if you will leave one or two subjects then there will be somebody else who is sitting in some other part of the country and he will be studying that subject remember it is not an examination which is on your college level this is an examination which is on the nation's level so you are not only going to compete with your classroom students you are not only going to compete the students which are in your college you are going to compete with everyone on the national level approximately 1 lakh plus candidates will be applying for the gate exam so you will be competing for with all of those 1 lakh plus candidates next is subject wise analysis and this is the average analysis of uh, last 3 years so from the last 3 years i can see that from aptitude and reasoning they have asked approximately 15 marks from uh, engineering mathematics plus discrete mathematics both of them together are approximately 15 marks 1 5 then you have uh, some most important subjects here is operate uh, theory of computation from theory of computation they have asked approximately 9 to 10 marks theory of computation computer networks so again this computer networks is also uh, one of the lengthiest subject here so this is not any topic you you cannot leave any topic here because uh, all of these topics are dependent on each other they are having some connection between each other now here there is something special that you will notice here there are some special things that you can see here that you can notice you can notice that I have written these subjects in a group for example, here we have C programming data structures in algorithm. I've written them in a group. We have digital logic, covered architecture organization and operating system. We have theory of computation and compiler design. Then you have discrete mathematics and engineering mathematics. And then this is DBMS, this is computer networks and this is reasoning. So why I have written them in a group? The thing is these subjects are very much interrelated to each other. You cannot study data structure without studying C programming. You cannot study algorithms without studying data structure. So whenever you have to prepare, whenever you are going to prepare these subjects, you have to prepare these subjects together. So operating system and computer architecture, they are very much close to each other, very much interlinked to each other. In the same way, this compiler design requires the basic of theory of computation. So you cannot study compiler design without studying theory of computation so you, when you are preparing for exam you have to make sure make sure that you in in you know in each of these groups you are not weak in one subject what do i mean to say by this is that if you are weak in data structures obviously your algorithm subject will suffer if you're weak in c programming obviously your data structures and algorithm both of them will suffer if you are weak in theory of computation then compiler design will suffer if you are weak in computer architecture then operating system will suffer and the questions that they are giving in the examination they are cross disciplinary that means some of these questions will be utilizing the concept of computer architecture as well as operating system so the questions will be like this is a complete combination of both of these topics and again so you cannot leave study one subject here and leave another so you have to study them together okay so what are the books that you can refer for discrete mathematics only one book is good which is Rosen Kenneth H Rosen so you should refer this book only see first first thing is the syllabus for gate examination is very lengthy so you cannot follow through the book entirely because uh, if you are going to follow through the book if you are going to pre prepare from the book it will take you approximately one whole year just to finish the syllabus 
द सिलेबस इज वेरी लेंदी बुक्स के अंदर आप अगर स्पेंड करेंगे तो बहुत टाइम आपको लगेगा एंड दैट यू कैनॉट अफोर्ड टू स्पेंड सो इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर दैट यू शुड टेक सम गाइडेंस सम कोचिंग सम वेयर और यूज सम नोट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड वट द टॉपिक्स यू हैव टू स्टडी सो हियर फॉर डिस्क्रिट मैथमेटिक्स कैन एच रोजन इज द बेस्ट बुक बट फॉर ग्राफ थ्योरी यू कैन ऑल्सो रेफर देव देन फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स द बुक दैट यू कैन रेफर इज बी एस करेवाल secondly there's one more thing i want to suggest to you guys whenever if you want to follow any textbook or reference book for the exam preparation do not uh, refer any local author books try to refer standard author books because if you refer standard author books then it it, uh, it will be better because in local author books sometimes they are presenting the concepts wrongly or sometimes they are having a lot of mistakes in the book so it is always better to prepare for any competitive exam always try to follow the standard authors only so here you can see for digital logic the best book is morris mano but again there's one more book i can recommend you that is a anand kumar lot of topics are given in a anand kumar now if you want to take a book for programming data structures and algorithm together then you can take the book narsimha karumanchi and narsimha karumanchi did uh, mtech from iit bombay qualified the gate exam and he written the book for data structures and algorithm for gate it is also available on amazon this is one of the best book for data structures and algorithm but if you want to refer any standard author book then for programming you can refer dennis ritchie for data structures you can refer tenenbaum and for algorithms you can refer corman for theory of computation you should refer peter lynch peter lynch is a standard author book but again if you want to refer any local author book then you can refer puntum baker or you can also refer hopcroft as a standard author so for computer networks you can refer the book which is uh, frozen frozen is the best book for computer networks but you can also use cross and ross then for computer architecture carl hemacher hemacher is the best book right but again you have other options also like you have uh, options for morris mano you have options for peterson you have options for ramchandran so but i think carl hemacher will be the better book and best book for computer organization and architecture for operating system you should refer galvin galvin is the only book which is good enough but again if for a few topics you want to refer other books you can refer tenenbaum and william stallings and for database management system i believe navathe is the better book but the problem is i personally feel that the language given is navathe is not easy to understand so you can also refer korth korth is a very easier book but again if you can refer navathe that will be the best for compiler design you can refer ulmen this is the only book that we can refer you this is the only thing that you can do okay <clears throat> now how to study this subject in which order should i study so everybody gets this questions now order means because see subjects are dependent on each other for example you cannot study compiler design before studying theory of computation you cannot study operating system or you cannot study computer architecture without studying the concepts of digital logic you cannot study algorithms without studying the concepts of data structure so again it depends which order should you follow to prepare for the exam i would recommend you that initially start with discrete mathematics so any of these three orders you can follow any of them is uh, good so if you are not good with discrete mathematics then you should start with discrete mathematics but if you are good with discrete mathematics then you can follow this schedule also kyunki discrete mathematics mein the concepts of combinatorics permutations and combinations and probability those concepts will be used in each of these subject in every subject here the concepts of permutation combinations series and the probability they will be used extensively so if you are weak in that portion obviously you are going to suffer in other topics so here uh, you can start with discrete mathematics then you can do digital logic c programming data structures algorithms theory of computation compiler design operating system then you can do computer architecture database management system computer networks engineering mathematics and aptitude and reasoning so here you can clearly see i've given this aptitude and reasoning the last one because within one week you can easily prepare for aptitude and reasoning for gate exam now now if you feel that you do not want to start with discrete mathematics you can also start with theory of computation in that case do discrete mathematics as a second subject why is because in digital logic also the concepts of permutations and combination they are going to be extensively used 
So here you can do C programming, data structures, algorithms, compiler design, operating system, computer architecture, database management system, computer networks, engineering mathematics, aptitude and reasoning. So in this order you can follow the subject. So the order that we are going to follow here in this course is this one. So we will be starting with digital logic, then C programming, data structures, algorithm. Then I will be taking discrete mathematics in middle and then we are going to follow in this order. So obviously the order is very important and why I have taken this order here because this order is the actual order in which you study these subjects in your BTEC. So BTEC mein jis tarike sa aap subject ko follow karte hain in your semesters. For example, you follow uh, in your first semester you study digital logic, in your second semester you study C programming, data structures, in your third semester you study algorithms. So the way you follow these subjects in semesters in BTEC, the, the same way we are going to follow these subjects in the course. And why we do that in this manner? Because each of these subjects are dependent on each other. They are having very high dependencies. So we have to respect the dependencies and we have to study these subjects according to that dependency only. I hope this video was helpful for you and uh, we have covered a lot of important things in this video and we are ready to start our course. This video must have given you a clear picture of the syllabus of gate computer science. In our next video, we are going to discuss about how can you ask your doubt, in what order you should, in what uh, things you can follow before asking any doubt because what happens is most of the time uh, students ask the doubt which are repeated. So instead of any asking any doubt which is already repeated by somebody else and already so given a solution for somebody else, then how should you follow that? How should you find the solution? How should you answer that doubt? So let us meet in the next video. Let us meet in the next session and let us start.